Hi there. Now, for this question, we're asked to find the integral of 8 all divided by 2x minus 1 to the power 3, integrated with respect to x, where x is greater than the half. Now, there's several ways that we could do this. It's only worth two marks, so really it's meant to be fairly easy, and indeed it is, if you remember this formula here. Okay, This integral can be changed into this form. I'm not a great lover of trying to learn this particular formula, okay? I believe that you should be able to do this by what we call recognition. And if you can't recognize how to do it, then the other alternative is that you could do it by substitution, where you let u equal 2x minus 1. So what I'll show you is this method first of all, and also I'll show you recognition. So uh, let's start then with this integral. If we just copy it down, we've got the integral of 8 then all over 2x minus 1 all to the power 3, and that's integrated with respect to x. So I would pull the 8 out because it's a constant. You don't have to do that, but I think it looks better if you do that. And then we've got 1 over 2x minus 1 to the power 3, which we can write as 2x minus 1 to the power minus 3. And that's integrated with respect to x. So it's got this format here. So assuming then that you're familiar with this, then what we've got here is the 8 and then it's multiplied by 2x minus 1 to the power n plus 1. So adding 1 to the power gives us the power minus 2. So you've got 2x minus 1 to the power minus 2. And you can see that we divide by a, which for this example is 2, and the new power. So we're dividing this by this 2 here and the new power minus 2. Not forgetting a constant of integration. And that's going to turn out to be minus 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power minus 2. So I could write that as, well, I could leave it then as 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power minus 2 if you want, or you could take this down in the denominator and get minus 2 all over 2x minus 1 to the power 2, plus the constant of integration c. So that's the way that you could do it then if you remember that formula. As I say, I'm not a keen lover of trying to remember formulae like this, because for integration, you get harder ones than this, where this term here might be raised to a power. And yet you should be able to still recognize various types. So for something like this, I would notice that differentiating the bracket here just gives me a constant. It gives me 2. And I've essentially got a constant being multiplied with this. So I would be thinking along the lines that if, say, I let y equaled, and I'll leave a space here, which I call a space for an adjustment factor. If I wrote 2x minus 1 and added 1 to the power, so adding 1 to minus 3 is minus 2, I would differentiate this and know that it's going to come out something of this format. So if I was to differentiate it with respect to x using the chain rule, dy by dx would equal, and then I would have minus 2, okay, minus 2 times 2x minus 1, reduce the power by 1, so taking away from minus 2, 1 gives me minus 3, and then I'd multiply by the differential of the 2x minus 1, which is 2. So I can see that what I'm getting here is minus 4, then, times all of 2x minus 1 to the power minus 3. Now this is looking very similar to what we've got up here, that we had to integrate. But it's not 8, okay? We've got minus 4 there. 
So if I just put that in brackets for a moment, what have I got to multiply this by in order to bring it to 8? Well, that adjustment factor would have been minus 2. If I put minus 2 there, being a constant, when I differentiate it, it's just going to stay there. And what this creates then is 8 times 2x minus 1 to the power minus 3. So that I know that if I differentiate this, I get this answer. So obviously if I integrate this, it must have come from minus 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power minus 2, which is really what we've got here. Okay? So I know this has taken quite a while possibly to explain here, but with practice, you could go from here straight down to this kind of answer. All right? So two ways, either by the formula or by recognition.